Alex Liaco. Computer chips were one of the first things disrupted by supply chain holdups when the pandemic started, but now two years later, the shortage is still going on. It's impacted everything from medical equipment to video games, but it doesn't stop there. Goldman Sachs estimated that this shortage is impacting more than 169 different industries. It's affecting everything. Anything electronic has evolved to a place where they can throw a chip in there to make it do whatever, and without that chip, production stops. Todd Sigety runs a camera store in Colorado. He says the photography industry is stuck at a standstill waiting for chips. Sony has actually discontinued a couple of models because they don't have enough chips to support their current product or new product. And now experts are warning shoppers to beware of counterfeit chips hitting the market. Things like toys, cameras, and video games can be at high risk for having counterfeit chips inside. So here's what you can do. You can make sure to buy things from a reliable source. You can ask for a chip accreditation number and make sure there's a good return policy in place so you can bring the item back if it doesn't work. If you're wondering how this shortage got so bad, it's all about supply and demand. The United States accounts for nearly half, 45 to 50 percent of global chip sales, but Taiwan and Korea account for 83 percent of global chip production. But a solution could be on the way. Both members of the House and Senate are working on their own versions of a bill called the Bipartisan Innovation Act. It's to boost America's chip supply, and both chambers have support from President Joe Biden. Here's what the bills would do. They would spend more than $52 billion on chip production and research in the United States. That would prevent future shortages and put the U.S. on pace to match production in Asia. The bills would also establish regional technology hubs to bring high-tech jobs into places they weren't before, and they would increase manufacturing power in the United States. And the biggest question on everyone's mind is when will this end? While well, experts say the market could start stabilizing as soon as the beginning of next year, but it could could take as long as two years for the products that are back ordered today to become easily available. And it's estimated that it's going to take about a decade to get production up and running here in the US. I'm Alexa Liaco. Thank you for joining us this week for our look at supply chain issues in America. Next week, our topic is infrastructure. There are concerns about dams getting older nationwide. We'll take you to a place where people have experienced what happens when one breaks. That's the problem with the whole infrastructure challenge. Until something like this happens, it's just not real. Until then, from Wheeling, West Virginia, I'm Chris Stewart, and this is The Race.